Hello and welcome back to my Nissan MV200 van build. When it's windy out, have you ever had this happen to you? Or even this? Ironically, I had more problems with the wind catching the van doors and hitting me when making this video about how to prevent it from happening than on any other part of my van build. And I didn't plan it for the purpose of this video, but it's because like many other people doing van conversions, I work outside on a driveway in the elements and the wind can easily catch the barn doors. So I've come up with a strong, secure and portable door bar to stop this from happening while I'm working on the van and when I'm using it as a camper in the future. Let me show you how I did it. If you've been following my van build, then you know that I'm not new to door poles and I featured my original one in my van essentials video, which was just a broom handle with notches cut in the ends and magnets holding it in place on the van. Perfectly useful for hanging things, but not good enough to withstand serious wind and it was difficult to store. Before landing on my final design, I tried a two-piece pole using a hardwood broom handle cut in half, which solved the problem of storage as it was short enough to be tucked away easily. To connect the two pieces, I drilled recesses in the ends and epoxied a bolt into one and a nut into the other. Screwing this design together took way too much time and effort, and the combined lack of accuracy and strength at the join meant that this wouldn't be suitable either. To get this third and hopefully final version underway, I first measured the van doors to see what I was working with, and I put the measurements on the screen just in case they're of use to anyone. After a good deal of research into what products might already be out there, I started looking into extendable poles with a view to adapting one into a door bar. I had seen a really interesting idea on a van forum, which tackled the same problem and they had utilised the van door latches as a secure way to hold the bar in place. I found this shower rail on Amazon, and the 70 to 110 centimetre version was a good length for my van and a good price too. And hey presto, I had a stainless steel shower rail to work with. First I could remove the end caps as I wouldn't be needing them. As you can see, it has pins instead of a twisting mechanism, which I figured would be a quicker way to extend the pole. It was very sturdy when extended to the length I needed it, which was the sixth hole from the end. However, if you did use the final hole, then it gets very flimsy very quickly. But before I begin turning this shower pole into a van door pole, let me explain what I'll be doing. My aim is to find a way to allow the pole to attach to the van's rear door latches, and that can be achieved using something like these D-shackles. In order to attach them to the pole, I'd have to drill a couple of holes in each end, and that's where these grommets come in, to cover up any sharp metal and stop the shackles from rattling around when I'm driving. I punched a mark for the first hole and using my trusty step drill bit, which has been super handy throughout my van build, I drilled my first hole, which was meant to be 9mm, but turned out to be near a 10mm as the drill bit goes up in 2mm increments, but that didn't matter in the end. Happy with it, I could then drill another hole on the other side, and then flip the bar to drill two holes on the other end using exactly the same method. And they turned out pretty good. I tried to get rid of the burrs, but the grommets, which I could now add, covered any remaining ones up nicely. I could then screw on the D-shackles, which went through easily, and then I could test the pole out. The shackles fit in the latches really smoothly, and they can easily be removed by pressing the door handles, which on my van are located here and here. I could now turn my efforts to where to store the pole. I originally wanted to attach it to the underside of my wheel arch storage box lid, but the space in there is too valuable. So after some thinking, I decided to attach it to the underside of my new folding table unit. Here it's out the way and out of sight. And although there are a couple of pockets on the wall, I only really use them when sleeping in the van and there's still adequate access to them in any case. Talking of sleeping in the van, I did pull the bed out to make sure the poles wouldn't interfere with the sleeping room either. With the space measured up, I could think about fixings and I got these plastic coated tool clips off eBay and they fit perfectly and don't rub or rattle the metal. Once I had decided where these would fit, I drilled pilot holes into the wood and screwed them both in. While I finish this, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. Thanks. I could then install the pole and give it a mandatory wiggle to check the fit. The pole sits under the table unit really well. It's shorter than the length of the table, so it's nearly completely hidden. 
As a whole, the pole looks really smart and meets all my criteria. Easy to store, quick to assemble, strong and won't damage the door. Well, all my criteria bar one. You may have noticed that the pole sits quite low on the doors. I'm very close to my head and that I may end up hitting my head on it ever so often. I suppose this all depends on how high your van latches are and how tall you are. But it's worth bearing in mind that I've been standing on the pavement. So once I pull forward and stand on ground level, my head just fits under it. I thought I'd finish this video with a real time clip of me putting the bar up to show just how quickly and easily it can be done. I think the door bar will be incredibly useful for my van and the fact that the whole thing only came to about £25 is a bonus. I put links to everything I've used in the description so do check them out if you're interested in building your own door bar. If you've enjoyed this video please do check out the others from my van build series and hit the subscribe button too. And as always, thanks for watching.